Hello YouTubers, my name is Kitchen, and today I want to introduce you to a game called Void Grim. Void Grim is a deck builder, a real-time deck builder out by Ravery. This is a product key that I have received for free to review the game for you. It comes out today if I get to launch it uh, on the right day, uh, tomorrow for me. And um, yeah, so it's the it's kind of hard to explain without seeing it in action. I think so. We will just uh, today we'll play a game of hard mode. I have beaten it on easy and normal now, and it both together took me about I, I'm gonna say an an hour to do the tutorial, then easy, then normal mode, and also with a a uh, loss on the first attempt at normal. So. I'm finding it fairly fun, um, and yeah, we'll just dive into it. It's gonna be hard for me to explain everything while it's happening, but I'll do my best. Here's some money carry, we wanna shoot that down. So we have a deck in the middle, and we can spend our cards to do damage to the enemies. They have a little cooldown there that we gotta watch. So we can't just spam infinitely. You can see up at the top how many enemies are left in this level. And that car ran out of ammo, so now I reloaded it. Three enemies remain. Here, I'll shoot that one down. Now there's one enemy remaining. Good. That gives me a little bit of time to explain. So you see he's shooting at us. And that'll do damage to my shield every time he takes a shot. I think we even outreach him right now, so it should be fine. Yeah, so... In the meantime, as he's shooting at me, I can explain to you, this is our starting deck. This has been my starting deck, I think, in every run that I've played. So we have, what, seven, ten different cards. We have the auto gun, 15 damage, force, and has six ammo. The ammo is located here on any given card. So if I reload rocket, auto comes in, auto gun comes in with, what, seven ammo on it here. And that would be because we have a an officer that probably gives me an extra ammo in every card. My health is displayed down here. Over here are reloads. Reloads mean, you see, when I reshuffle a card, it spends a reload, but it recharges. So I can't just keep reloading cards. I can only have two of them reloading at any given point. But then we do have infinite cards beyond that. And you can see up here what is in my pocket, I think, in my deck. So if I shuffle, I'll, I have a chance of getting any of the cards up here. You can see that they are even recharging up there. Mm -hmm. So that's about all the mechanics on our end. The rocket will do 40 damage and has anti-armor. Then we have the armor breaker, which is anti-armor 5. That means it reduces the enemy armor by uh, 5 or 1, respectively. Good example is the laser, which does 20, uh, it does 3 damage 20 times. So if I shoot this guy with the laser because it has 3 armor, it'll do 0 damage. You see? Very cool. Look at me explaining all the things here. Auto gun should do about, what, 20.4. This is because we have a damage multiplier over here of 1.7. Again, that must be from one of the officers. We'll see those in a second. Let me kill this guy and we can see the next level. There. If I click here, yes, we see we have two officers on deck. These are again randomized for everyone. So we got Lucky and got Lynx, who has a 40 plus 40 damage multiplier. That's a really nice thing to have. Give me 1.4 over here. Then we have Sar, who gives us ammo plus one on every card, 10% cooldown reduction bonus and an extra 0 0.25 shield regen per second. Very nice thing to have. That's what you are looking at over here. We have zero strength, which means that all our cards will, despite the damage multiplier, will just do their normal damage. Any strength that we have would be added on to every damage number. Something that we might get more of later. And then there are different enemy types that I didn't even explain. After every level, we get money, we get to recover a bit of health if we had taken damage, and then we get a choice between three cards, or we can reroll for 50 credits to get some different choices, or we can just get 50 credits to buy more at the next shop. I really like the regrowth card. So regrowth means that for the rest of this level that we are in, my shield regen will go up. Permanent bonus. Shield recharge will give me 25 immediate shield, 
And then Lightning Bolt will do 100 damage, for, and it has two ammo, cooldown seven, discard, reload. That means how long it, it takes to reload over here, stuff like that. I really like the Regrowth. This is one of my favorite cards so far. So let's grab that one and kill the Strengthen over there. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, I clicked the redraw button. That was not intended. Whoops. There. So this game is kind of hard to talk about while we're playing it, <laughs> but we're trying. We're almost out of shield already. This is my first time playing at this difficulty, so we might lose here. I'll try not to. That was a healer. The Strengthener will increase the strength of all enemies as it keeps firing. And this is a money carrier. If it fills up its bar, it's gonna run away. So it's like a lewd enemy that we have to kill in within a certain amount of time in order to get extra money. And then a strengthener enemy will amplify the attack of all enemies. The longer they stay alive, the quicker the enemies can destroy you. And this shows up as a little number above the three enemies. Uh, there can only be three, three enemies at any given point. So that's also something to keep in mind. I can change the targeting between them by either clicking on them, like you've seen me do, or click A, S, and D as the three targeting keys. I'm trying to get better at using those mechanics to, to target with. For our reward after this level, we get a Lightning Bolt, which is 100 damage twice, or the Torpedo, which is 200 damage once. I'm feeling like the Torpedo is really nice. That's the highest damage card in the game, I think. I like that one. Let's get the Torpedo. Get rid of the Redraw there. Kill you. Basically, whenever I can click the Regrowth there, it'll we'll just smash that button. Uh, you can see it over here that it increases my shield regen over time, and that's a permanent buff for this level. I used the laser incorrectly there. We are getting pummeled right now. The disruptor over here steals my ammo. Oh my god. Yeah, we took actual damage there. All right. It's got, we got a money carrier that we want to focus on there. Uh, there uh. Oh, it has armor. Oh, and I redrew. Goddamn. Armor breaker. Here we go. Torpedo. Yes, good. That should kill it. Healer. Oh, we had a healer in play. That's why it stuck around for so long. All right, and that's the final enemy, the heavy guard. And now my regen at this the end of the level here, since I've played it so many times, we regen shield so fast. I forgot to mention that this isn't early access, alpha, uh, or I think it's beta currently. So it's a fairly rough thing, and it's it had a an update just today that I could visibly see that that improved a few things. So it's probably still being worked on as it comes out, hopefully now when you are watching this. Here we see the hint for strength. Each point of strength increases the enemy damage by one. It'll have this number above their head. Enemies like the Falcon and the Berserk increase their own strength over time. Strengthen is increase the strength of all enemies then. Get the reward. Ooh, okay. Wow, tough choice. The Acid Mortar, one of my favorite weapons. Uh, will do Acid plus three and then also 10 damage. Acid means it takes damage over time. So after you apply Acid three, they will take three damage every second, not affected by armor or anything. So, and you can use this one three times per card, which means you can apply up to nine ticking damage well over uh, nine seconds. We're gonna get that one, but heal and kill obviously is pretty cool. 40 damage, but then if you kill with this card, you heal 20 immediately. Uh, the only thing is that you, then I gotta use my brain to only use this card or specifically use this card to finish off enemies. And I tend to just button mash some of the cards, especially when I panic. And so I forget to use this. An arc caster is like a combo thing. It does seven damage, seven times. I think it's the other way around here. Seven times, seven damage. And that means that you would want to combo with stuff like uh, Mark, which is, which is the opposite of enemy armor. Increases their intake of damage by uh, Mark modifier. Or you can apply extra strength to yourself to boost the damage here that is then being multiplied by seven. We're getting the mortar. And then we go to the first shop. 
leave shop and start challenge. This is new to me. One out of three. Huh. Well, we're gonna click that button, but first we get to, you, you, you saw how we have two officers in here. You can have a maximum of six officers on your deck and then you uh, you can put them into your officer pool if you wanna store some of them. Officers are generally a bit cheaper for how, what they give you in bonuses, but then you can also buy permanent bonuses over here or delete cards. So Henry, for example, will give us one more ammo for every card and then apply one strength to my ship. So every card will do one more damage per shot. Now, I think we've, we have specced into high single target, single shot damage. And then we have the mortar. The laser will do 20 times three damage. So one strength here will do 20 extra damage for the laser. That's a build that you could go for. Uh, I don't think that's what we're doing for this one. How do we get to the shop there? Phoenix is 10% cooldown bonus for all cards and then 20% extra damage multiplier. And Doreen will give us one extra regen, shield regen and repairs five health after each level. We already have a little repair after each level. As you can see, we are at full health. I generally like buying shield maximum up. And I think we'll get Phoenix here. He's a pretty decent, like he costs 150 to get us 10 cooldown bonus and 20 damage multiplier. And the cooldown bonus of 10 Cost 250 on its own, so you see, like he's he's pretty cheap for what he does. Phoenix, you are hired. Then shield max up again, and we'll get some damage multiplier. So now it's up to 1.7 over here. And then we'll click this button here that I haven't seen before. Leave shop and start challenge. One out of three. I'm not sure what that's all about. Something happened. These are special enemies that I have not seen before, so that's fun. Oh boy. These are all the enemies that are in the level. So these are, yeah, again, special enemies. Oh, they are stealing my ammo. Get the mod out of this guy over there, redraw out. Our shields are down, Captain. Where's my shield cards? Give me the shield cards. I'll give you one. Oof. Well we took a ah, well we took two damage. Alright. Manageable. And we can either get a sh a strength card. The strength card, I've seen this one before, and I don't like it because that lowers my shield regen. I think it gives me extra strength for the rest of the level, though, kind of like how the regrowth is permanent. So is the, the strength re or the shield regen reduction, though. On the contrary, I think stacking more regrowth on is just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably get that. And then we have a plasma field, which does 150 damage over time. I think only affected by the damage multiplier, nothing else like strength and armor. We'll get the regrowth. Another one of those. There's a healer. Shoot the healer down. And 200 damage to you. Armor breaker on you. He's a berserker, so he will increase in strength over time. Uh, there, 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 hmm, out with that one. There's the Mortar. There must be, hmm, no. Someone stealing my ammo, I thought, but no. Okay, we gotta focus the Money Carrier. Armor Breaker on him. Uh, acid mortar on the big guy, obviously. Nice. Strength limit has to keep, go down, please. Oh, whoops. And this is the final enemy. We didn't take damage for the level, so we can call that a success. Whew, but intense. We could also just take the money for this one here. I'm not sure if we should get that shield recharge. 
It's not getting a nice panic button. I like going defensive here. I think we'll do it. Try to the extreme offensive build here. There. The disruptor steals my ammo for cards, so that is super annoying. Get him dead, please. Oh god damn it, the redor. I, I usually discard the redor. Because I accidentally click it and discard all my good stuff. Got a money carry over here that we should work on. He's dead. Oh, they have 10 armor, these guys. Oh. And there I used the armor breaker on the wrong guy. A strengthener has to die, please. Good. Armor breaker. Kill the Droner, it's an easy target. There, it's gonna go down. Alright, we managed this one again without losing anything, so can't complain. Good stuff. Um, maybe we try the Plasma Field? I'll take the money. Our deck is fairly good as it is, I don't think the Plasma Field would be like a big combo thing. It's nice damage, but still. Money carrier, take the torpedo. And this disruptor's gonna use all the ammo and all my guns, so might as well just spam them. So it's gone. Acid Mortar has appeared, so let's spread it out a bit. Strengthener. A torpedo for you. Oh, that was the entire level. Easy. Game's easy. Uh, oh, another torpedo. All right. Yeah. Oh, the torpedo's so good. I'll, I'll get it. Plus one reload for an ammo multiplier. Karen. Repairs 10 health after each level and then 50 extra maximum health. That would probably be, quite in probably be pretty nice. Words are hard sometimes. Valeria. And then we'll get shield max and damage max. And then I think shield... Oh, no, I'll get the uh, the redraw gone. I oh, we can get another sh uh, start another challenge here. Oof. That is very tempting. I'll get the shield regen for the money that we have. This will re instant repair us when we buy the health and repair here, so it's better to spend, to buy that one after you've taken damage after a level. Uh, in, in theory, not if we die, obviously, but then otherwise, yeah. What is this? A mini boss thing. All right. I must have armor, yeah. Okay, armor gone, now laser. Spam all the cards. The heal build is working. You cannot harm me. Yeah, he did. What's he doing? Okay, he does quite a bit of damage, but then I regen it. So fast that he can't keep up. Maybe that's because I'm also spamming shield recharge. I think so. Yeah, okay. He is outpacing my damage, if not for the recharge cards. Okay. So like a mini boss. That's very cool. Oh, he 
almost got me that time. Okay. Another armor breaker. I don't think we need it. Rather, I would just take the money and upgrade our ship more when we get the opportunity. Go for the money carry over here. Oh, the laser does nothing right now. I'm gonna break it though. Don't want to compete by the laser. Recharge that shield. gone. Oh, a healer. God damn it. And another healer. Of course. Get one more enemy popping up. Let's kill the gunship. And then I don't think the heavy guard can outpace my healing. So we are in the clear. Die! 508. Not bad. Alright. Um, at some point we're going to meet the final boss thing, which there, by then the mark field will be pretty good. So I think we'll grab one of those. And here's a healer. Kill that. Honey carrier. One shot, nice. Acid mortar for the Berserker over there. Another Berserker, not good. Okay, this is kind of bad. Uh, shield recharge. Shield is keeping up right now. I'm gonna break it for the other Berserker. They threw the shield. Oh no. Oh jeez. Die! Oh, we lost. Wow. Yeah, two Berserkers. And I wasn't really able to focus them. I suppose we were able, but I was not in the right mindset. Mm hmm. Another hard run. We can squeeze two into a video, I think. All right. So that's an example of how intense this game can get. And it's all about keeping a level head. I think I could have beaten that other level if I had prioritized clicking the right buttons in the right order. Let's try to build a laser build, if the cards will allow it. I do think that could be pretty strong. Money carrier killed. I see. I gotta save up the. Does this? Oh, this. Um, this stacks for the rest of the level. The damage up. Look at that. It increases my damage multiplier permanently, just like the shield recharge thing. I see. I thought this was like a temporary bonus thing. Aha. Uh -huh. And here's the thing for like a laser build. Okay. Markfield. Let's try it. With the storm. And damage up. So we just spam that one. Keeping the armor breaker around this time. There. ship. So 
the mark field. This is how it works. It builds up mark, which does no damage. I'm just testing that I understand the exact mechanics here. We do 1.6 extra damage already. So we do 41 per now. All right. Pretty strong combo there. Shield synergies. Plus five shield when card draw. MO10. That is interesting. Hmm. I don't dare take the strength for the for the debuff that it gives me. That seems way too brave. But the shield synergy just sounds cool. I have not seen this card before. Uh, armor breaker on the money carrier there. Let's click that. Let's aim at it. Armor breaker on that one. Sure. Aim on that one, sure. Why can I not click? Oh, ah! So it just sits in hand and, and does its thing, and then I redo the whole thing. That was a misclick. Or a misplay at the very least. And we are dying in the second level here. Oh, there's a healer. See the healer there. Come on, stuff recharge. Gosh darn it. Okay, we will live. And we will heal for most of that damage. Shield Synergist. Very interesting card. Uh, so it has to block a card in my hand in order for it to work. Oh, it, it does have ammo. Hmm. Oh, another laser then. It's very tempting. Let's try to make it work. That means we do, we do need to have stuff that like reduces armor for it to play out. We need more shield max, which Finn will also give us. So we should have bought Finn. Nora the same. Can we get Finn and Nora? No. I think we go for Nora here with all the shield bonuses. Extra shield, extra shield regen, and a shield regen multiplier. And then we have 150 still to get shield max. We will go for the challenge, obviously. This might be a fast playthrough. Break out on the waiver there. Yeah, something is stealing my ammo. I think that might be the waiver. Okay, I think we lived and we didn't take any damage, so everything's fine. So every time I reshuffle a card, the shield synergist uses an ammo. And I can reshuffle that, but I can't play it. It's very interesting. Okay. Get a reward. Ooh, the acid mortar. But that does not combo with stuff like the laser. I still do think that it's a good card. Or I could just take the credits. It kind of bypasses armor a little bit, which is nice. I think I like it. Still, the circuit there is bad for us. I do out. Are we winning? Are we losing? 
losing. The Berserkers has gotta die. One goes down. Very nice. Strengthener needs to go. Okay, we shuffle everything. Go, go, go. Oh, oh no, I'm misclicking. Panicking. Panicking is bad. I don't know if I got it. It also looks like it dies when it times out. That's the thing. Healer has to go. I think this shield center just is working. Like, of course it's working, but is, is it good enough for it to justify even ever picking? Kind of tough to say. Armor. Every point of armor will reduce every attack by that point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get reward. Lower cooldown for all other cards. Or more acid mortar or heal and kill. I think we take the credits here. And upgrade more. Heavy guard and strengthener. Get rid of the strengthener. Oh, it has a lot of armor, that one. Strengthener has to die. The disruptor is nasty. Body carrier, focus. Should have taken the redor at that time. It would have been worth it. Oh, whoops. Me shuffling the wrong things. God damn it. Misclicking. Man, this game is very susceptible to misclicking. That, that was an intentional click, for the record. Okay, we're down to two enemies here, and I think we survived. Jesus. Intense. Focus one at a time here. Laser now ready. Acid mortar on the other. Again, I gotta be better at using the buttons here. Instead of the mouse to target. Does this do damage to him? Barely. It does. The laser? Yeah, the laser will even though he has three armor because of the damage multiplier and the strength, I suppose. One of them would, must give me a little bit of extra strength. Okay, and we didn't take damage. Twin gun also works with the extra mark and strength. So this would do compared to, well, not compared to a laser. I think I'll take the regrowth again. It's just such a good card. Okay, I'm not thinking, I'm just clicking. Obviously not a great strat. Oh, it's gonna run away. Goddamn disruptors. Oh my god, that is double it disruptors. Really nasty, I, I can barely even click a card before it's out of ammo. Ah, should've used the redraw, damn it. Good. Redraw. Uh, armor breaker there, ether storm, strengthen up focus. Can't believe we didn't take actual damage on this level. 
it's over now, so we didn't. But I didn't get the money ship, so couldn't could have gone better. All right. Hmm. I'm not a huge fan of the single target mark because that means it it, it takes a little more uh, brain power from the player, in compared to the mark field, which is which. Both do 10 marks. This one just does it in one click and then it's fire and forget. This one I kind of, I can spread out the marks over different enemies, but eh. And it does one damage. It, okay, so the fact that it does damage com combined with the other marks and the other strength that we have, it'll do two damage. And then for every mark, it'll start stacking on more damage. When you play the mark field and then play this, it does 11. Hmm. Okay, I've convinced myself. Karen, Yin with extra reloads, or money on level reward for Rosa. I think the money on level reward is a little bit too late in the game. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Yeah, let's get the, the money on level reward. And then, so she's gonna pay for herself more or less over time. We'll buy one shield regen and more shield. No, more damage plus. Oh, and we can get Yin, which is an extra reload, and that is kind of nice. Having the extra reload down here means I can shuffle more cards out quicker. And then ammo in general on top of cards. Okay. Sold. Le oh, how many... We can have one more officer, up to six. And then now we get the bows here. So armor breaker, rocket, let's shuffle out the laser for now. Here the mark field is obviously great. Or mark going up to 20 now and he can't outpace my healing so I think we will be fine here it's more like a, a DPS maybe a heal heal PS check if you will right, so now the mark mode is obviously nice like that okay I see it Oh, the damn redraw. Right now I'm just clicking everything, but the redraw... For that one, it doesn't really work. Alright, but cool minibus. So, the ether storm. I think we'll take another one of those. I like the AoE because I don't have to think about it, I just use it. Ship. See what comes in here and money carrier. Oh, gotta focus it. And a heavy guard over there. Get the money carrier. Ah, oh, we won't. I have no weapons. Oh, and the laser will do nothing. Yeah, we didn't get the money carrier. God damn it. Too much defensive build. It's nice because we don't die, but I, I guess that I need to go a bit more offensive in general. I see it now. Why? Because we're not getting the money ships. And that is sad. Like when the money ship had come into the field, I should have shuffled out the shield synergies, I think, to just have some more damage cards. Alright, but good enough. Another mark bolt. There's another way to overcome the armor in, in, in a way. 
Hmm. The hyper, I'm not a big fan of because I only have the five seconds and then I, I gotta wait for all my combos. And if I have defense cards in hand, it doesn't really work. We'll take another, we'll take the money, take the money. Yeah. I get the strength and the killed. Oh, uh, Muddy Carrier. Okay, we got the Muddy Carrier that time. Nice. Now we gotta focus these berserkers. They keep growing in strength if I don't kill them. And he's a healer, obviously, so we gotta kill that one. Kill it. Oh, whoops. <laughs> to spam everything. Okay. Um. <laughs> With all the marks, the arc caster becomes good. Uh, money carrier first. Oh no! I'm misclicking. I didn't get it. Just clicking everything to try and kill the damn thing, but it's not working because my stuff wasn't comboing. And a healer. damage. And I kind of don't want to do kill the Droner because it's just going to spawn something else, but maybe I'm wrong about that. It gives me some reprieve. Still nothing from the laser there, alright. to go. If I can just kill one heavy guard here, we'll be fine. Yeah, good. Uh, and we didn't take that much damage, so everything's fine. It's an interesting way to make a deck builder with the fluent mechanics. It is kind of turn-based in a way, if you think about it. You know, if time is a turn. But then I guess not really. Alright, what then? Either the shield recharge or the credits, I think. I think the credits, because that's like a permanent buff we get. Yin is extra reloads and ammo multiplier. Sar is extra ammo, cooldown bonus. Oh, we can get two strength on Chester here. That's what we're getting. And then a damage multiplier. Then I'm gonna do enough damage now. I will delete a card and I will delete, delete the redraw. And then we'll buy more shield max and a shield max. And then we can afford only the health and repair. But this also, yeah, as the name indicates, it also repairs when we buy it. I think this is the final time we're in a shop before the final boss, so I'll just buy it. This will be our last opportunity to spend money. And here we have another mini boss. All right, I'm scared, and I don't really have time to look at what he does here. He 
Did he reshuffle my hand? He does. So I just play all my cards as fast as I can because he can't, I can't really combo them or like look at them for too long. That's interesting. Okay. A different kind of way to play. Oh, I mean, that works fine. I just spam my cards. Now, theoretically, the laser should be good with my build. So let's try it out. Look, there's another. Oh, this is just the boss now. Okay. So this is the final boss. I just wanted you don't have to think about what enemy types are on the field. You just fire the best stuff you have. We might shuffle something out, but I don't know what it would be like. The ether store might not be worth it. He's out of armor now, so the armor breaker will be useless. Stuff like that. I'll take the ether storms. Good enough. Armor breaker is not. I think I'm winning. He does get stronger over time. So do I, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we die here. Yeah, I think we're dying. Yeah, no victory. Oh, okay, good. Whew. 45 health remaining. I had reloads four. Okay. So that is my new high score, indeed. You do get higher scores for use or going high on higher difficulty. This was on hard, so there's still an insane mode to go after this. This was Void Grim. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you do, let me know. That makes it more likely for more episodes to come out. Otherwise, this was just a short demonstration. And yeah, thank you to again to Rarity the Games. This is their first game on Steam, and I think it's just a single guy making it. So for that, I, I think it's a great little game. I had fun with it. Easy to play. We played two runs on hard mode in 47 minutes. That's pretty good. And that's it. Thank you guys as always for watching, and see you around. Bye-bye, everyone.